Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to our bustling little village in Manor Lords, where we've finally been able to take advantage of our most bountiful resource, the soil. Apart from that, in just a handful of minutes, I suppose, we're going to finally be able to call ourselves an actual, legitimate Manor Lord with an actual, legitimate manor. Folks, I am very excited for what this session holds. We're going to see the fruits of our labor from the last handful of sessions. Uh, we've got the manor going, of course, there's that, but also the fields off in the distance are hopefully going to see their first harvest, depending on how things play out. But beyond that as well, the uh, clay that we've been harvesting and been turning into tiles will finally be used to upgrade the church, which will then in turn allow us to upgrade the burgage plots to tier 3 burgage plots. But before all that, it seems as though we're going to have to deal with yet another bandit camp. I recognize that audio cue, I would recognize it even if it was muted. Let's take a look at where this bandit camp is situated. Oh my goodness, that is perfect. Right next to me. I could raise the militia right away to go deal with these guys. Fact of the matter is that it doesn't seem as though the Baron is responding, so there's no time pressure. But yes, it would be nice to get the influence, it'd be nice to get the treasury uh, boosted a little bit. But I'm not going to rush it right now. And some of you have been asking in the comments why I wait, why I don't just take care of it right away. It's entirely dependent on what else is going on. Right now, for example, we've got these fields that still need sowing. And if I don't sow the fields, they're not going to grow. Nothing's going to happen uh, in either of these fields. Now, this one's a bit further along, but, you know, this one's got a long way to go. And if I don't complete that process, we're going to hurt our harvest. And all I need to do is wait for maybe a month, maybe a month and a half, and this process will be done. And then, sure, we can raise the militia, and we don't have to worry about missing a good harvest. Uh, previously, it's been the situation where, for example, maybe the supplies are too low, and if I rush out, then we won't have fuel for the winter, or we won't have food for the winter, because uh, the berries will have been completely, you know, uh, eviscerated by the winter, and uh, we've lost that opportunity. So, there have been various reasons at various times why I haven't immediately told my uh, peasants to put down their, uh, their tools and pick up their arms and rush out to battle. Here, for example, like I said, it's the sowing, at other times it's been our supplies, and at other times it's been because I want to finish certain construction, um, and if I send everybody out to fight, then who's going to be doing the building? So that's why I've been uh, picky about when I send out my militia. Uh, it's not hesitation as much as it's sort of a, a bit of a strategic approach in terms of what I'm prioritizing. So hopefully that answers that question. Uh, and apart from that, I want to address another thing from the comments, and that has to do with uh, Zvao, the new uh, region that we uh, claimed just recently. I've seen some excellent name suggestions coming through. I'm going to leave the door open for the time being for more suggestions to come through, but uh, primarily so far they've all been centered around the rich iron deposit that we have here, which is excellent. I've been learning quite a bit about uh, German uh, uh, like place names. That's always fascinating stuff to, to learn about. I, I actually I find that topic very uh uh, very fascinating. So thanks for sharing all you've been sharing in the comments, but keep those suggestions coming. Once we settle this place down, once we establish a couple of houses in the church, uh, we might go ahead and rename this region as well. And like I said, take a bit more of a historically uh, familiar or, uh, you know, appropriate approach to the layout here, as many of you have, uh, have suggested. So again, keep those comments coming, keep those suggestions coming, folks. I do read all of the comments. I do read uh, every single one, even if it's coming, you know, days, months, years after a video has uh, has been released. Uh, so please do share your thoughts, opinions, feedback, questions, and I'll I'll get to all I can, however I can. Um, apart from that, as well, if you've been enjoying this series, if you'd like to see more Manor Lords on the channel, don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, then you might want to consider subscribing. With all that said, though, let's go ahead and check out our Manor. It is finally done, looking pretty good. You know, a little modest to start with. We'll, as planned, expand it over time. Many of you have suggested that this, in fact, does feel right in terms of the, you know, attached parts versus the tax office being a bit further out. I've got some suggestions already with regards to how we might want to lay out the walls and what other aspects we might want to uh, include. Keep those coming as well. We'll acquire enough planks and timber to make our upgrades because if I do select the uh, manor, you'll see that I can open the castle planner that can go right back into that planning uh, screen and, and get some work done there. But of course, we'd have to invest resources to actually build whatever it is that we plan. Heads up. Uh, we do, yes, have people living in the manor as well. I saw that come up as a question. Uh, and another question I saw come up is, what's our headcanon for where the, the Lord has been uh, for four years, I guess now? Uh, good question. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the mechanics that this manor unlocks for us. For one, there is taxes. Taxes allow us to, 
through land tax, take regional wealth, and convert it into treasury. Uh, that has a multitude of advantages, as, you, as you've already seen, plus another one that I'm about to show you shortly, only unlocked by having the manor. So, let's go ahead and set a reasonable tax of, I think, 10%, and be wary of the fact that it does cause a bit of approval loss. Approval's actually not looking great right now, so maybe I can, you know what, maybe I hold off on the taxes for the time being until we improve some of the uh, circumstances and the markets and all that good stuff, and then we can consider uh, the land tax. Uh, because, look, our treasury's looking all right for the time being. The tithe, though, no one gets upset about paying a tithe. So why don't we go ahead and turn that up to a very fitting 10%, and what happens there is, wh whereas the uh, land tax converts um, regional wealth into my treasury, uh, the tithe uh, simply provides us with influence. So food gets given to the church, and it provides us with influence instead. Let's go ahead and take a look at another thing that some of you have been asking about, and that is this policies tab. So for the time being, there is the development tab, the policies tab, and the production tab. The production tab is currently work in progress. There's nothing to uh, investigate there. But the policies tab is, well, it is also work in progress, but there is some stuff we can engage with over here. So uh, all of these are currently locked, uh, and these are locked as well. Uh, they're work in progress, again, early access. Uh, but these first two options are available to us. So we can activate uh, one policy right now. Uh, hunting grounds is an option. Wild animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yields from crops. So, uh, you know, I, I, I suppose that's an indicator that we allow the uh, wild animals to graze a bit more freely, perhaps, or whatever it is that's impacting our, our crops. The rich deposit of wild animals will breed faster. And we actually have a rich deposit of animals, so this could be advantageous in some ways, but we'd be hurting our, uh, our, our yields from the fields. Alternatively, strict fasting. Citizens skip every fifth meal. Reduce food consumption, but at the cost of some approval. So neither of these, I think, are necessary for us right now, but you can see how getting a manor built nice and early or having a manor in place in harder difficulties uh, can very much come in handy. Plus, if I don't have very fertile soil, you know, if I wasn't going to farm, then hunting grounds would have been amazing for me. Uh, so these policies can really kind of change how you approach uh, various aspects of your uh, development. So right now, we're not going to activate any policies, so that's all well and good. But we are going to take a quick look at this brand new thing you see here that represents our retinue. So let's go ahead and take a look at the retinue customization screen and uh, just take a look at the uh, the fact that you can go in and get these individual named people who have their own personalities, who have their own kind of like uh, traits, I guess I would call them in a, in a, in a broad sense, in a narrative sense, uh, and who also have their own equipment that you can customize to a degree. Uh, when I say to a degree, I mean, for example, this man is armed with a with a pole arm, and so when I swap his weapon around, it'll be alternate pole arms. Uh, whereas, you know, this man here is armed with a single-handed uh, weapon, and so I can swap between various single-handed weapons. So there is customization, but it does keep uh, a bit of variety, so that you're not like forcing everyone into a uniform look. Uh, you can to a degree if you want to. Like I can go in and I can give everybody the uh, you know, party elite colors over here. Um, so the, the 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 retinue is repping. Let's go ahead and see where. Yeah, we got the red and yellow going there over here as well. Why not? Now, realistically, and correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is that historically, people kind of like put together their own equipment, uh, and, and that's why you'd get a decent bit of uh, of, of variation and, and, and variance. So uh, you know, it's good to kind of keep that going. So we can, for example, with this guy, instead of doing red and yellow, we're doing yellow and red. Uh, but also, you know, in terms of the weapons they have, in terms of the uh, the, the helmets they're uh, they're wearing. In fact, I kind of like that's a good look. Um, accessories, if they've got a shield, what kind of shield it is. Uh, so yeah, decent bit of customization, and you can also upgrade their armor. You can do it in a couple of ways. You can import the armor, pay the full price to import the armor set for this retainer, uh, or you can uh, buy locally. If you're producing your own armor, you can use that. And I love that aspect of it, that you can locally produce all kinds of goods, including these. As your retinue gains experience, we'll have access to, it looks like, you know, perks and upgrades and additional skills, perhaps. This is work in progress right now, uh, but that's very exciting to see as like a as a mechanic that's being explored. And apart from that as well, uh, this says 5 out of 24, because we can in fact recruit more men-at-arms, and uh, we can also recruit 
Ministerialis. Locked in early access right now. You know, coming coming soon. But I'm I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious about about. Uh, I don't know what Ministerialis is. I, I'm not familiar with the term, and I'm gonna look it up right after this uh, episode is done being recorded, actually. Uh, but yeah, that's that's neat to see. So we have a cap of 24 because again we built that uh, tower, so we have a, a higher cap for our retinue. But for every person I want to recruit, I have to invest 50 treasury. So there's that other use of treasury. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of options over here in terms of uh, of just. Customizing your retinue, your personal retinue as a lord. I think that's super cool. Uh, these guys are obviously capable fighters that you can deploy on the field. And eventually, you know, when we when we start fighting the Baron, we'll very much take our personal retinue out to the, uh, the battlefield as well. Because, uh, well, why wouldn't we? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our, uh, our, our manor and our lord at the same time. There you go. There it is. That's the title, manor lord. Um, this is great, though. It's nice to finally have this built. Something we've worked on for, for quite some time, actually. Like, this took this took a sweet bit of time to, to build. I think it took about a year, maybe a little bit less. But yeah. Great to actually see it up. And I think the view from it is actually going to be marvelous. Like, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop out. And get a look from up over here. That's what I'm talking about. I might need to cut this one tree down. Kind of blocking the view, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Don't mind that, though. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And let's go ahead and take a look from uh, the main uh, market, I suppose. Oh, wait. Situated over here. Yeah, I think I might need to cut that tree down. Might just. Yeah, beautiful. Very pleased with that. Very pleased with that. All right. How are we looking over here? They're still out there. Still haven't spotted the uh, Baron's troops, so it looks like we're good on time. We can we can make a move whenever we want to. I'm tempted to just hire mercenaries to do the job for me, truth be told. Um, that is an option. I mean... Salbits and this slow. I don't think either of those are close, actually. Take a look. Yeah, sell bits and the slow. Yeah, so that's a long march. I'm not going to spend that much time and money. Maybe next month we get some new mercenary companies who actually show up a bit closer, and we do that instead. Because I got, I got enough money. Enough money. Um, all right, let's take a look at the uh, the market situation. Because if I'm not mistaken, a new plot got uh, built. Food variety's looking okay. Fuel's looking all right. I'm sure in due time it's going to reach out to there. Clothing. Yeah, we need more shoes. We need more shoes. Up over here is our cobbler, who's hopefully cobbling away. Um, hmm. Doesn't seem to be. What is our resource situation looking like as far as leather is concerned? We have one hide, zero leather. I need more goat sheds. I need more goat sheds, and uh, the hunting camp is currently, yes, being worked. The forager hut, not so much. I'd like to get those berries before... We got plenty of time for winter, obviously, but... Let's go ahead and work on those berries, I think. Alright, sewing here is almost done. Sewing here is done. So as soon as this hits uh, 100%, we might be close enough, honestly. I could just pull the trigger on this now, as the windmill is finally being built up again. That wasn't a rush, because we don't need a windmill until we have something to actually mill, obviously. Why don't we go ahead and reduce the number of families here? Right down to one. We're at 98%, so one family should be able to tend to that, no problem. Uh, let's go ahead and get one family at the sheep farm. In the winter, we can't shear sheep, so if we want to shear sheep, we have to shear sheep soon. Um, and I wouldn't mind having some of that uh, wool coming through. Yeah, looking good. Transporting wool. Uh, I've got a couple of families with which I can go ahead and do that. And hunting? Maybe we stop the hunting. We're at 15. I want the, uh, the the hide to come through. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do I... Yeah, I hang tight. Because I need to build some more houses. And so I hang tight. I need to build some more houses so our population can keep growing. Let's go ahead and first of all build the storehouse that I've talked about a couple of times for, for this region here. Because uh, I want to make sure I'm placing things properly. So we've got our storehouse that I want to place... 
somewhere here. Where is that sweet spot? There we go. And pop you down right there. Yep. And we can go ahead and we'll figure out the road connections. Maybe we have another shrine here or something. But that'll allow me to then continue building this road down like so. I want to want to try and break up these grids a bit more. I, I do, I promise you. I do want to break these grids up a bit more. Um, and break my my tendencies here. Let's go ahead and, and, and curve this. Alright, there we go. wonder if I add some more roads to make that feel a bit more... Uh, that transition. I mean, it feels good. Why, why is that so big, actually? Huh. Usually it's associated with like the building that's attached uh, to it. Like you'll notice that happens around like the market, for example. Anyway, let's go ahead and build another burgage plot. This one might also be a, a tailor, for example, or perhaps two. What if I sounds good with the uh, expansion. Sure, let's do that can expand later but that'll be good and then we've got some room back here for some houses I got I've got some room here as well for another like small uh, small plot the tiny backyard that's all we really need so if we want cobblers and, and tailors down over here then that's gonna work out nicely and the bandits are stealing our herb all right fair enough I, I think it's time we pull the trigger then that's how it's gonna be fields are sown the, the hides I was hoping for more of so we can get those shoes flowing. But you know what? Do a quick check over here for mercenaries. They'll just sell bits and Nuslo, so let's go ahead and uh, raise our rather sizable militia, actually. I need to start producing spears so we can actually have uh, a larger uh, melee component. Again, I can just import them as well. That's obviously an option, too. But let's go ahead and rally our militia. Uh, we're trying to get all the way out to there, right? So let's go ahead and rally our militia up to here. Let's go. Time to move. I could get my retinue involved as well. You know what? Why not? They've been formed. These bandits, they're going to be hit so hard. They're going to be hit so hard. And the retinue are coming from the uh, the manor, of course. It's a small retinue, so we want to be careful with it. Don't want to lose any of these men. Look at them in their resplendent armor. I think it's, yeah, it's just neat that you get to customize them and make them your own. Alright. Small retinue for the time being. We'll, we'll grow them in due time. I mean, again, we're going to get more personal wealth from... Uh, from this particular uh, assault on the brigands, and you know that'll that'll give us enough to upgrade a bit more. And while that's happening, yeah, we we've, we've deprioritized the construction of this burgage plot after after all. But I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. Who knows what they're going to steal from us next, right? Who knows what they're going to steal from us next? I wonder if I should get another uh, unit of, uh, of archers. I have more recruits available, so some people are staying behind and working. That's good. Question is, who, which families, right? <laughs> and I could investigate and I could check, but uh, and, and reassign accordingly if I wanted to. But I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's necessary. Let's make our way over, and let's speed time up over here. Wonder if we will see resources get brought over at the very least. Should do. Should do. We'll keep an eye on it. These guys are marching away. Very much looking forward to our expansion as well. We'll pull the trigger on that soon. I want to make sure... I think we'll wait until our first harvest is done. When you settle a new region, you do get... Uh, oh man, our retinue is very slow, isn't it? More heavily armored, I guess. Uh, when, you, when you settle a new region, you do get... Uh, some starting resources, the same ones that you actually start the game with. So that is a thing um, that we can use to our advantage. But I would like to have a sustainable uh, 
home region first that can actually export goods to that expansion. And that way we'll have our sort of economic hub and our, 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 our military hub, if you will. Like this is, uh, this is where we'll get the smithy and stuff going. Again, I've read your suggestions in the comments. I think it's kind of cool to have like the smithies there, uh, primarily at least there, and to, uh, to kind of organize our two regions like that, where one might be the breadbasket because it's got the most fertile soil, and the other would be, well, it's got its rich iron deposits, so it would use that to give us everything that comes from, from iron. You guys are making their way over. We're gonna hold our ground over here. Retinue is slowly making its way over. They are tired. That was a long march, I guess. We ran all the way through it. And I love that fatigue actually plays such a big role. It's one of those things that I always hope for where, yeah, I want fatigue to be impactful. I want to have to stand. I want to need to keep units in reserve because if I don't, then we'll be, uh, you know, we'll be hurting. Like, I want those kinds of mechanics and systems in, uh, in my tactical battles in, in the medieval era in particular. Let's go ahead and speed time up a bit, get into position. Why don't we go ahead and get you over here. Decisions made entirely for the uh, cinematic nature of this uh, battle. I don't want to have the fighting happening in the bush there and not be able to show it off. There we go, firing away. Sixteen of them. Good shooting. Let's go ahead and charge. Holding our ground here. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> they broke instantly. They broke instantly. All right. Beautiful stuff. That is amazing. The archers, I think, did a lot of work on their on the enemy's way in. So Retni is going to go ahead and take care of the uh, camp, uh, and then our our uh, militia is going to pull back and, and disband so they can get back to work. That was fast work. That was very fast work, and now we have enough influence to actually claim an additional region. So that's something to think about. Right, these guys are going to go. I'll keep an eye out for the uh, increase to our treasury for the message that pops up, and we should be good. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Yeah, you can see a bit of construction is happening. The storehouse has seen some progress. This burgage plot should probably be a higher priority. And our logging camp currently has plenty of timber, yes. We are looking pretty good across a variety of factors. Uh, but unfortunately, as I say, variety, I do want to point out that the, the variety available to our people isn't enough. Just shy. Just shy. A few more chicken coops will probably do the trick. What do you have here? What was I planning on doing for you? Were you going to be a tailor? Or perhaps an armorer? Something that sells... Um, oh, right. I think... Uh, wouldn't mind having a couple of uh, bakeries in the area. And like I was uh, saying, I believe I mentioned this uh, last session, but you know, it'd be nice to have like the market expand in this general area as well. Um, if I hadn't said it last session, and I just thought it, then I'm saying it out loud now. It would have the market continue here, so this entire area feels like a market. Uh, with the you know trading post, the tavern, and the market stalls continuing over here. I think that's going to be a really cool kind of look. I'm excited for that. I'm very excited for that, actually. These guys have returned. Let's go ahead and disband. I think I waited a little too long for that. And up over here, still making our way over. Retinue moves real slow. Makes sense. They are heavily armored, and they're exhausted right now. But let's go ahead and uh, take this for our treasury. Yes. Good stuff. That'll allow us to uh, expand our retinue and all that good stuff. It's a necessary, the necessary choice, I think, because uh, the, the regional wealth is looking fantastic. We're doing all right. <laughs> We're doing all right. We'll be able to afford the upgrades that we want. But yes, let's speed time up a little bit so we can get uh, some progress happening here, and we can go ahead and uh, rearrange how things move. And yeah, we got plenty of shoes here, but I think the issue is that all these families have various stalls, like a firewood stall there. Firewood stall there, a firewood stall there, and a clothing stall. So we have one clothing stall. And uh, that makes sense. Firewood is much more essential. So that makes perfect sense in terms of the ratio. But if, you know, if this storehouse uh, didn't have any firewood, 
and the families assigned to it wouldn't be firewood stalls, obviously, right? They'd be whatever else, and that whatever else might have been shoes. So I'm wondering, yeah, like, do I, does this storehouse also stockpile the shoes um, just to ensure the family that's, the, the family has like a, a market that's selling shoes that we get more clothing stalls? I gotta think about that. I gotta figure that out. And I will, all in due time. We got more logs coming through. It is the Burgage plot I want to prioritize, but that order was probably given a long time ago. Speed time up a bit further, and of course we have the windmill as well. Just about done. Just about done here. And once these constructions are done, I think we'll kick off the upgrade to our church as well. It's wild to see. This is going to be great. Once the once the crops are all in, and we'll have the mill off in the distance, it'll be picturesque. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. These continue to grow year by year. It takes about three years, I think it was, before they actually uh, are at, at maximum uh, output. So excited for that. And look at the way these backyards look. I mean, look at the... The undulation of the hills and stuff. It's just such good stuff. Look at these, the backs of these houses. I can't wait to show you guys how the tier threes actually look. They're just so, they have such a presence about them. And again, we have the resources we need to upgrade the church. And we absolutely will, don't worry. I'm not like trying to prolong the wait or anything. I just want to get uh, some of these more essential things done. Because April might go without us actually acquiring any additional families. And that's a bit of a, that's, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, and this is also not looking too hot. <laughs> um, we're hunting, we're berry gathering and, 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 and herb gathering as well. That's all well and good, but a little nervous about that, uh, supply account. Go ahead and disband you. All good stuff. How are we looking in terms of, oh, hey, nice. We've got our next harvest. For wheat in 125 days, we're expecting 83, uh, what is it, bushels <laughs> of bales of wheat? What is the collective noun of wheat and barley? I mean, sacks of barley is how they're going to be distributed, sure, but what's when you... Curious. <laughs> I had the same question about eggs uh, not like four or five sessions ago. Oh, yeah, good stuff. You're presumably taking the wool up to here, and we got... A decent amount of wool, fair enough. Are you ready to upgrade yet? Not yet. You need fuel and food. We'll get there. We'll get there. Fuel has dropped all of a sudden. It's on its way back up, but it did drop all of a sudden. Might have to do with all the families that were out and about, uh, you know, killing bandits. Might have been part of the uh, problem? Really part of the solution. I want to make sure we're keeping an eye on this. Up to 95%. Yep, there we go. Good stuff. So fuel needs have been met across the board. Clothing is good. It's just that one bit of food variety we need. And that's just it. Food is reaching that family. But we just need that variety. We need something else. All right, storehouse and the Burgish plot are complete. So we have room now for one family to move in. Ooh, okay, let's go ahead and expand this living space right away. Let's go ahead and build yet another Burgage plot, actually. I'm like, oh, I thought I had. Oh, I, how can I? What if I do something like this, you know? That's a fun shape. It still feels kind of gridded, though, right? A little wasteful, I suppose. That's just it, balancing the, uh, the fun shapes versus the waste. I want to clear this area out? Yeah, sure. Couldn't clear this area out. I can keep building out over here as well. Let's get the road starting to curve. I'm trying to find the right radius, basically, of this. Something like that. Feels pretty good. 
copy down like that, so this will go around that way. Um, and this will be an interesting space as well as we like try to f like follow the curve of the hills and stuff and, and build the housing and stuff uh, along the edge of the hill. That'll be very fun as well. This was proposed as a potential site for our manor, and I think that would make that would have made sense as well. But again, I, I like that spot, and I like the kind of relationship we built there. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and build a couple more brogage plots over here. Wonder. I wonder. I wonder. How can I force myself to break this uh, structure that we're seeing? Do this. Because again, these will probably be... Um, what am I thinking here? These will probably be... Buildings that supply the market. Maybe... Maybe Bakers. Like, this will all just be... This will be like Baker Street or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's pop you down. I'll have the road come down this way. So, and I'll leave it at that for the time being. Because I think I want to like pair, like maybe match this and we'll have a nice big something here. I could put a market down, I could put something out, like some other structure down, something. I want something here. It feels like a very uh, iconic spot, you know? Um, let's go ahead and connect all you guys up to there. That'll get built in due time. We'll have extra housing. That's fine. It won't put me in the situation I'm in right now, right? This upgrade's happening. Fuel again. All right, this storehouse. Let's go ahead and make sure you are not accepting... First of all, let's cancel everything. Then let's go ahead and get what? We're trying to get... Wool. Leather. Hides, yeah, so wool leather hides, and I, we can try doing shoes just here and see what that does for the families we assign. So let's assign one family for the time being, see what that does for us. And at this storehouse, let's go ahead and get rid of the wool, leather, the hides, and the shoes. And the other option is to build another storehouse that only stockpiles the firewood, and then firewood isn't here. That That is an option. I'm going to keep the shoes here. Because ideally... So many families, though, you know? One more clothing stall would go a long way. When it comes to the shoes, specifically. I wouldn't mind actually building another Brigish plot back here and get, like, maybe some more chicken coops or something. Something, something. We'll see. Ah, the mill is done. Nice. Yeah. Once that thing's up and running. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Alright. Time to upgrade the church. Let's go. Upgrade to a small stone church. Sounds good to me. And with that... We can go ahead and upgrade these to level 3. Bit of an investment. Residential requirements will increase. Am I ready for that? Am I ready for that? It'll generate a bit more wealth. It'll allow me to get another development point. Then I can start getting more oxen and stuff like that. Let's hold off. Because if we need to spend time building, it'll slow down construction on, on like burgage plots and stuff right now. But we're gonna hold off for the time being. We'll we'll get back to it. Let's speed time up though. At the storehouse, what do we got? We got people transporting. Yep, goods are coming through. Gonna go pick some stuff up from the tannery. You're potentially bringing back hides. Yeah, beautiful. You're bringing shoes over, or, yeah, transporting shoes. Okay. And it looks like we have a clothing stall. So now I believe we have two clothing stalls, which will hopefully help the reach of, uh, uh, of clothing a bit. 
Hopefully. Alright. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. Keep speeding time up a little bit. Get some of this construction done. Shoes, we got leather. We got hides. Another another clothing stall was built, actually. Or is that the same one that it just got... Yeah, okay, okay, that was the same one. But it just got finished being built. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll see what that does for us, then. I have high hopes. I have high hopes. Once I get that food variety over here, though, that's what I need. So I can upgrade, basically. That's the... Uh, that's what I need. I need to upgrade to level 2 so I can go ahead and build that Taylor's Workshop, finally. And I refuse to put another market down over here. That feels like the easy way out, you know? Yeah, I can put a market down over here and supply food, but no. I want to be able to supply from the central marketplace that's not too far away. In fact, how is our tavern... Yeah, our tavern can reach. And that tavern's much further away. Much further away. Alright. I'm, I'm, I was looking at this to see if I want to start uh, levying attacks on the people. Or if I just keep uh, robbing bandits. <laughs> that seems to be working well for me so far. Seems to be working well enough for me so far. Food. We got negative berries. I assume that means they're being consumed or the demand is beyond their current availability. Eggs are really low in count, actually. I need more chicken coops. I need, I need more... I need more chicken coops. Wonder if I build some more houses over here. Again, it doesn't... I can't just build houses. Uh, people need to actually live in them before I can uh, do anything with them, right? So... Logging camp. I wonder if I remove the permanent assignment so we have more uh, for construction. And let's go ahead and get ourselves another ox, actually. Let's upgrade this hitching post to a small stable. And let's get ourselves another ox. We need more oxen. This construction is uh, is, is slowing down too much. Oh, and your family started moving in. Beautiful. We're at 31. We're topped up. Gonna be a bit more time. Gonna be a bit more time before we uh, get more people coming through. Oh, hey, food variety here is good. What am I missing? Oh, I just missed the window there. <laughs> but we had it. We know it's possible. We know it's possible. Our stable is done. So let's go ahead and order from the livestock trading post because it'll be cheaper. Import, I want to have four. I can keep uh, I can keep them actually at the um, trading post as well, so why don't we go ahead and actually say five. Let's see if that does the trick for us. Go ahead and upgrade you. Excellent. We'll get the tailor's workshop going and then we'll, uh, we should be good. We should be good. Very excited for that actually. Excited for that. June. Crops still growing, crops still growing. 72 days, all right. Gotta keep an eye on uh, on harvest season and then again, reassign families accordingly, obviously. We've got a couple more families right now. The hunting should continue. The berries need to be gathered as well. Let's go ahead and switch things around a bit. Let's let's get those berries so we can get the dy dyer's workshop working as well. And so we have berries as food variety. Because again, it's, it's not about just the reach of the market. It's about the variety of the items. What is this? Requirements not met. Ah, these guys, as they're being upgraded, have decided they're not getting uh, everything they need. It's okay. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I'll have them covered. I'll have them covered. I'll have them covered. Actually, looks like uh, within that time span, they were have been covered again already. Yeah, see some of these guys are trying to get berries now. I just need to have enough to get to these guys. And again, we got uh, we got some bakeries coming and all that good stuff. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. We're gonna be fine. Just gotta make it through to this harvest season and a little bit after, and we'll be good. All right, building is almost done.
Up you go. And then of course we have to actually build the uh, Taylor's Workshop. There it is. Taylor's Workshop. Good stuff. Five planks. That's not a problem. Back over here. <laughs> the ch more chicken coops is so tempting, but no, no, no. We'll uh, we'll get another Taylor's Workshop here, I think. And hopefully we'll be getting enough... Uh, hopefully we're getting enough wool to make that sustainable. Only six so far. We might need more sheep. God knows we have room for it. Plenty of room for it, actually. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we're trying to get 30. So they come in very slowly, obviously. Guiding an ox. Importing livestock. Unassigned families needed for construction work. Whoops. Yes, I overdid it. Yes, I overdid it. Let's go ahead and remove a family from the forager hut. What else do we have? Where else are we overinvested? Nowhere. <laughs> the Dyer's Workshop, by the way, is currently unmanned. Yeah, I need to keep some level 1 brigage plots, or at least I need to keep some uh, families as non-artisans. Because what's happening right now is I'm building these brigage plots and then upgrading them immediately afterwards so they become artisan families, and then they won't go do any other kind of work except for the work that's in their backyard. So I gotta start uh, keeping some people as non-artisans, otherwise we're gonna lose the backbone of, uh, of, our, of our economy, as it were. Do we have, like, a massive empty spot for the... Oh, I guess, right, because this isn't the most fertile land. So we're getting kind of patchwork uh, growth, I think. This is at 34%. Oops, let's see what happens. Looking good, though. Let's mark it, man. That was good. We have more empty slots. We have four free stall locations. Okay. We'll see what comes up. Yeah, food is getting all the way to here. There's no reason it won't get all the way to here. Cool. Excellent. There's our tailor's shop. Get you working on... Ah, we need linen. Right, 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 right. Linen and dye. All right. Completely forgot about an entire step here. The wool needs to be turned into yarn. Flax is turned into linen. So if I want to go ahead and make cloaks instead then, then we can get the yarn. Wool to yarn. Okay. Weaver's Workshop. Establish you somewhere here. Sure. That's nice actually. That, that cutaway worked out nicely. Wish I had more, uh, <laughs> more families. But yes, let's go ahead and start getting this established. I knew I was forgetting a step. I was like, that seems too simple. It was just a little bit too simple. Yeah, we need more families desperately. These burgage plots are under construction. Tempting, to be honest, to uh, get even more families out of their current assignments. Everyone's working on what they need to work on. How much ale do we have? 22 ale. Let's stop with the malt for the time being. Uh, obviously, the ale will continue to flow because those are breweries that are in people's backyards. But at least the uh, the family there can be freed up from the malt house, and uh, they can uh, they can help with some of the construction. Have the additional oxen arrived? Two unassigned. Okay. Hopefully, they're being used to to, to build. And how many sheep do we have? Still just the five. It takes so long to bring. It takes so long to bring. I guess that's why you want to assign additional families, so they kind of just go out there, they get them, they bring them back, and uh, and you can unassign them. Very well. 37%, 35%, see how that plays out. Small church, still being upgraded, slowly but surely. Let's go ahead and... Um, Prioritize these. Get that done first. Church is important, don't get me wrong. 
But uh, we need more uh, followers of God in this village first. Missing out on potential growth as each month goes by. It's July. Is this interesting like Catch-22? We need more people to produce more food for the people we have and to then sell it. But then the more people we have, the more food we need. That's a fun dance. I wonder almost if I establish another granary back over here, by the way. Vegetable berries, eggs, nah. We just lack the variety. That's just what it is. We just don't have the quantity. We don't have the people to provide that quantity. And good stuff. This burgers plot is done. Again, not turning them into bakeries yet. We're going to leave them to accumulate families, use them to do construction and all that good stuff. And then, uh... And then eventually turn them into bakeries when we actually have something to uh, bake with. quite a bit. Yeah, I'm going to start breaking up the, uh, the grid stuff we've got going on over here. It's going to, we're going to change it up, don't worry. Take a look at some uh, maps and stuff to, to, to inform myself of how I might actually want to break this up. Because I've been trying, I've been trying, uh, honestly, I've been trying. Obviously, it's, uh, <laughs> this is what I see around me as a very gridded uh, approach, and I've been trying to break it. And I will, as we go along, I will, absolutely. Alright. Burgage plot's been completed. We have enough room for 34 families. We have 32 right now. So even there, we're like, we have room for more. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of the uh, shrubbery. Yeah, there you go. Let's start putting some houses down over here as well. Let's make sure our logging camp is logging away. Up over here. Go. Oh. Or woodcutter's lodge. You guys need to work more. <laughs> We're just like four months worth of fuel at all times. It makes me a little nervous. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and build the burgage plot. Like, alright. Yeah, that still feels like a grid to me. And it's not just a grid, it's also wasted space. That's 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 my struggle. At least this shape is a little different. Pop you down there. Leave this area for maybe some chicken coops or something, as I was saying. Alright. I'm up there. Weaver's Workshop is being worked on. Again, I could uh, prioritize it a bit more, because right now a lot of stuff's just sitting there, but... We need more families, anyway. We need more families to do more work. And how many... We're looking for five oxen. We have them. Should have them. See two of them there. <laughs> Trying to spot all the oxen. It's a horse. Oh, that is an ox, so we got three. All right, I, I believe we have five. I'm like, are they here or are they still being transported is the uh, question I was posing, I guess. All right, you're coming back with some sheep, good stuff. You're coming back with some sheep, good stuff, good stuff. All right, cool. As long as there's progress on that front, you know? All right. Weaver's workshop, I'm getting there. The storehouse. Hey, at least we'll have like a nice chunk of wool to, to work with. I could upgrade you. I need 10 planks. Hey, let's get the saw pit up and running soon. What's our growth looking like? 42%, 40%, 47 days. All right. Good stuff. People are moving in. Families are growing. And it looks like these guys are actually getting their food supply. Uh, lacking some clothing, but that should hopefully be solved soon. Yeah, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. You know what? We are. Now, these guys are getting two of their three needs. Compared to at the beginning of the session. Whoop. There's our church. And hey, would you look at that? 
the color scheme. It matches as red and yellow. Beauty. Beauty, now actually hang on a second. From this tavern, do we still have the same... Uh, yes, we do. Oh, it's even more imposing now. <laughs> Good stuff, but there it is, our new church. Our upgraded church, I should say. Saving finish. Saved by the Lord himself. That feels good. That feels real good. Approval is looking good. I wonder if we don't start Cobbler. Now, a lot of these Burgage plots don't have backyard extensions, and I, uh, and I want them to have, you know, I want, like, more tailors and, and, and stuff like that. I, I want them to be happening near the market. I also don't want to lose too many of my families, my families that I can assign to jobs. Balancing Act. I'm waiting for this to be built up because this will need some jobs. The dyer will need will need dye to produce these clothes, these cloaks. And I wanted some more... Um, some more uh, uh, planks as well. And of course, when the harvest season comes, we'll have to reassign everyone, right? 18 wool, not too bad, not too bad. 9 dyes, that's not going to be enough. Oh, we could stop exporting dye. I think I still have that um, active. Yeah, so no trade. Keep the dyes. We'll hold on to them, we'll make better products out of them, and then we can maybe export those end resulting products. Do have to keep an eye on my regional wealth, because that's not looking as hot as it once did. We do have 101, 102 war bows now. So uh, what's up with that? <laughs> These guys are selling food. You're selling food as well. I'm not going to complain about that. There is much demand for it. But that means that they're perhaps not actually, you know, shipping the, uh, the, the bows. Transporting. What are you transporting? Bows one at a time. What are you transporting? Those are bows being delivered. What are you carrying? Choose. No, no, okay, transporting war bows. I was hovering over somebody else. Okay, cool. War bows, you are... War bows, okay, good, good. It's happening, so fair enough. Maybe we just missed a shipment or something. But let's go ahead and see what that actually does for our trading post numbers. 10, yeah, 10 at a time with these uh, pull cards, 20. And is that the trader arriving just in time? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Good stuff. As long as there's a flow happening, and I just happened to look when, when things were empty. Do we have a family in here? Not yet. Okay, we have room now for, for some growth, so that's good. That's good. In that case, you know what? Cobbler's shop. Let's do it. We're going to need more clay tiles, by the way. We only have the four roof tiles. Our weaver workshop done. Got to assign a family in here. And let's go ahead and upgrade this cobbler shop to level three. As promised. Yeah. Like, look at the look at the difference it makes. Between one of these like smaller level two burgage plots versus this level three one. Now the demand is gonna be insane though. With the construction finish, we'll take a look at its demands. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to keep up. We're pushing ourselves to our to our to our limit. Going too hard on uh, on some of these aspects. Maybe it's time for some of those chicken coops I keep talking about. But again, we need families to come in first. We need families to come in first. Alright, looks like a month before harvest. I can't believe it's already August. So it looks like we probably hit our timing just perfectly in terms of getting our uh, our harvest season. So that's great. That's great. We got another clothing stall. Okay, excellent. Yeah, you can see the market's really filling out. I wonder, like, do we, like, you know, I'm curious actually. Do we, as these additional families start to move in, uh, establish the, a market like up over here just in front of the church? That doesn't seem right, you know? 
that doesn't seem like something that would actually happen. But over here, as I was saying, like the road continues and we have a nice big uh, market area over here uh, for lots of stalls. The problem is going to be that you know they're going to have to ship goods from this storehouse over here. So do we finally split the goods up a little bit to keep the throughput uh, looking good? Excited for that expansion, but let's see how much this marketplace can, can do first. No free stall locations at this one. Three still available at this one. One, two, three, I assume. But, uh, but yeah, we're, I mean, you know, this is a proper market. <laughs> like, we got, like, all kinds of goods over here. We have this shrine in the middle, which uh, I do not regret, even though it's costing us a lot of room here where we could fit a lot of stalls. I don't regret putting the shrine down. And yeah, look at this. It's like a full-fledged market. Look at that. Hawk your wares. Come on. Sell me something. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. Just under construction. Nice big cobbler shop. Weaver, we got somebody working. And they've opened a clothing stall. Okay, fair enough. Don't sell the yarn, though. Let's let this storehouse let's make sure you are actually storing that yarn. And linen, sure, for the inevitability. The dyes as well. Why not? So this storehouse should not store dyes or linens for the inevitability or yarn. Cool. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. And you are producing? Yes. Folks. So the yarn should start coming and hopefully we'll get dye coming soon as well. Got a family assigned here. We need berries, obviously, for the, uh, for the dye. And I don't know. But we might need to import berries, actually. Especially in the off season, might need to import berries to get the uh, the dyer's workshop working. Who else can I unassign from where? Because soon we're going to need people working the fields. We're going to need people working the mill. Um, I'm still trying to get enough livestock in. Currently, we have ten sheep. Could unassign this family. In the winter, we'll want to unassign family from the sheep farm because uh, we can't again shear sheep in the winter. So that's an option. That's an option. I'm so excited to have this entire like street be tier threes. What a great street! What a great little street! A treat of a street. Do I leave you fallow? I mean, I'm trying to... The numbers right now, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how long 32 barley will last me. How long 81 wheat will last me. Can I afford to leave you fallow and then come back to barley again afterwards? You know, you, if I turn on crop rotation, second year will do some wheat. Fallow, wheat, fallow? I don't know. Up over here. Crop rotation, leave it fallow next time around and back to wheat. We'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll find a cadence, we'll find a cadence. Um, we just seem to be making it into harvest season with these guys, which means we can probably currently put down some more fields if I wanted to, and, and be able to, to, to hit our harvest season. But um, I wouldn't mind having more families before we did that. And we're, we're growing, this is a very large town and let's not forget the added management of having an additional town that's going to kick off soon by the way i think uh, i think we're about ready again like i said we'll have our harvest we'll see what that nets us and then we'll be able to expand to uh our new region and again keep those uh, suggestions coming for uh, names for that region folks but uh, all that and much more is going to have to wait until next time this is what we're going to call it a session we're at roughly that hour mark hope you enjoyed it if you did you know what to do let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, makes a very big difference in just letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel. Letting me know what I should do more or less of. How I should go about doing it. I read all the comments. So if you have suggestions, thoughts, ideas, um, questions, drop them and I'll, I'll, I'll answer them in, in one way, shape or form. I love coming back to this view at the end of every episode and just kind of taking a look at our progress because it is immense. This session in particular with the trees now being cleared out. Pretty soon we're going to have to pull this camera back a little bit. Uh, but I do love coming to it. And I will create a compilation of, of these shots 
uh, maybe for our tenth episode, I'll have like I'll intro with like a uh, a little um, you know showcase of how we've developed over the over the many episodes. This is feeling good, folks. I hope you're having a good time. If you are, again, let me know. But apart from that, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.